Oh, so I am. Yep, sure thing, Weaver. Okay. Let's cut that one, mate. Oops. Oh, that was close. There you go. That was nearly my mistake of the day there. I nearly made a grievous error. It's dark over here. Is the Polaris? Yep. There, it <laughs> there you go. I hadn't heard it. I hadn't heard it because it hasn't fired the brakes on yet. Oh, there we go. Now it is doing. <laughs> brakes. I love the sound of that thing. Hello! Welcome to Night's Arcade. I'm Sleepless Night. We are back in Hard Space Ship Breaker. And this, we're about to max out this account, I hope. Now, bear in mind that when I went up to level 9, everything went wrong, right? So that week, when I went up to level 9, every time I tried to make a Ship Breaker video, something went wrong. And unfortunately, on the occasion that I actually did max out my level, the thing that went wrong was me. Lots of other stuff had been gone, going wrong that was out of my control. Uh, and then on the occasion we finally did get up to it, after everything that had gone wrong, I, I forgot to record it. So we missed that. So I hope nothing's going to go wrong this time. Now, first of all, I've got to say that because of the position I'm in with games and the decisions that I've made recently and other changes that are coming to the channel, I don't really have any content. I didn't have any content I was comfortable putting on the channel at the moment, except this. Now, Among Trees, we've done anything that's sort of remotely interesting until the autumn update comes, whenever that is. They've said that it will be here in the next few weeks before Christmas, but that's, you know, when that might be exactly, I don't know. So that leaves Shipbreaker, but the thing is, there weren't any real milestones left. So we did the, when we passed um, 200 million, right? I mean, we're almost at 300 million now. And the reason that that's happened so quickly is because in the last two days, in the last 48 hours, 24 hours actually, really, not 48, 24, just over 24, I've worked my ass off in this game every single minute that I could possibly scrape together to try to make sure that I could film going up to level 10 and maxing out this license. Uh, which, of course, I haven't until I bought all the equipment and all the upgrades as well. It's not technically maxed out, but you know what I mean. We got to the maximum level, so we can do this. Now, the nice thing is I've positioned it, and I've done this intentionally. I've made sure that the work order objectives should be able to do quite easily so even if there's an accident and something gets broken we should get 10 work order objectives from the ship i'm going to pick here right 10 to fill out and we only actually need eight to level up so even if i make a mistake or i miss one or two if i miss two we can still make the level but we need so i could do that easily with a, a hard whatever like uh, class 3 cargo mackerel right on hard right Th no problem I could do that but what I couldn't do is if you look at the credits the other thing that we need is just short of 7 million so like 6.8 million credits we need now there is no mackerel in the world that you're getting 6.8 million credits off they just on a mackerel that's not going to happen if 6.8 million credits if you were you, you were using race rules you could because you get bonuses for various things including completing completing it you know so if we're looking at race rules maybe but this isn't the race this is the career mode so unfortunately we can't do that so let's go to the ship catalog now i don't want to do a ghost ship for this i want it relatively straightforward but a bigger ship so so that there's enough on it to make the money now i like as you'll know i like these heavy cargoes i like these that's a lynx one and that's a hanzo one so hanzo that one is worth um yeah it's worth more than the lynx one anyway 
So there we go. The salvage runner, I would do. I was going to do a video taking those completely apart, but uh, the salvage runners are currently bugged. So when you uh, when you input your utility key to switch off the reactor, it immediately melts down uh, and explodes. I know this because it's happened to me two or three times. So I went to the Discord to find out what was going on to the um, Shipbreaker Discord, and lots of people there going, "Yeah, don't work on those at the moment. They're bugged." So. So at the moment, we're not doing that. So we, we're not going to do the Lynx Heavy Cargo. We're going to do this one. So theoretically, as long as I'm re relatively careful, we should quite easily be able to level up by the time we've cut this thing down. So let's, you know, let's do that. Let's try that. Let's try it. So what do we need? We need... Um, three thrusters, so we need all thrusters intact. We need 15 electrical items. Okay, no worries. Please don't tell me... Oh, thank God. I was going to say, please don't tell me we need shipping containers because those things are a nightmare. Uh, we need the rail guides. That's okay because they'll go in with the side panels. We need the heat sink. Yeah, easy enough. Sensor array is right there. Shouldn't be a major problem unless I make a big mistake. Coolant... Fuel, if I make a mistake, that's probably the one that's going to go wrong. Metal, uh, that could actually cause us a bit of a problem. It'll make us, it'll take a long time to get all that in, but we'll see. Fuses, oh right, so I could, don't, don't pull off. Oh, don't pull off the electricity generator then before releasing the fuses, otherwise we'll fail that one. Nanocarbon is fairly standard. And 15 electrical items, right, okay, so let's start with this, because this is electrical item. <laughs> So these antenna, I've discovered that if you power these down to the barge and let go of the trigger before, you know, if you're using a controller, if you let go of the 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 grapple there before it's reached maximum power, they just pass right through. It causes a problem. So there we go. You have to. So that should register. But they are finicky little things. They are a pain. So uh, sensor array, which is that so the sensor towers don't count for shit but you know let's get them off because they're rather large oh also do they count as what do they count as let's have a look they count as electrical so yeah they're going to be handy we're going to need those you'll notice that i'm not really going at any massive great speed at the moment salvage secured so, you know, because we've already lost two minutes and we've only sal we've only salvaged two things. So, yeah, I'm not going at any tremendous speed right now. I'm trying to make sure we got all these things and we salvage register them. Because the electrical thing... I mean, 15 electrical items on a, on a ship this size, that shouldn't be an issue at all, but... That definitely wouldn't be if you were doing, like, a gecko uh, station hopper. But this is a... Salvage this is a heavy cargo, so, you know. Uh, metal. Right, we need the metal, so we're going to cut these off. Because I know there's, there's enough metal in the subframe, but... You know. We don't want to take any chances, so let's retrieve the armor plating and throw that into the furnace. Whee! Oh, there we go. Uh, right, so that's in the furnace. Let's cut the armor plating off the other side. And there's only one. Material deposited. Might as well. Weep. Okay. Let's let's throw that off that side. Right. Oh, what? Missed the cut. There we go. Okay. So there's a few little... There are a few little pings and quirks lately since the last update that, um, you know, are sometimes difficult to discover. Like, I've noticed a quirky little thing. I haven't done enough analysis to figure out exactly what causes it and what doesn't. Don't worry, that's, that's, we expect that noise, don't panic. Nobody panic, everything's fine. Deposit accepted. Air 
pressure level decreasing. What? Oh, that one. It opened automatically because the pressure is equal on either side, right? Okay. This one then, surely this one. Does it? I don't see. It's just only one way to find out, really. But it, yeah, no, it's fine. Uh, let's grab that before it gets blasted through the window or some damn thing. There we go. Air that's pressure the, level decreasing. That's the fun one. Excellent. So I'm really pleased that we don't have to get the shipping containers off because they are, it can be a massive pain to get down to the barge. Like, if you tether them, they don't always go in. It, it, it's just a bit evil. Airlock pressure levels oh, dropping. that's an airlock. We don't need to do that. Airlock pressure levels dropping. Whee! Yeah, so there's a few quirks going on at the moment that are causing a couple of issues... Uh, I've noticed when I've been working on mackerels, uh, there's a peculiar thing going on at the moment, whereby... Let's just release that from the bottom. Actually, let me release all of these. The bottom ones, anyway, because then they don't, they're not going to get pulled into the... Not that I really care, frankly. I'm... I don't want these things. I'm not interested in retrieving them, so... Yeah, like on the mackerel, there's an issue. Even after you've taken all the floors out and the walls and you've taken the airlock apart and you've emptied the cockpit and there are holes everywhere and there's just nowhere to seal air. If you... I haven't, you know, done any calculations or anything. I haven't been analytic enough to figure out exactly the order that causes it, but it seems like something to do with the... Um, something to do with which airlock and door consoles you remove so if you remove them and at what time you remove them and if you remove them you know everything's fine but then all of a sudden what will happen is even though there's nowhere left on the ship to seal air in all of a sudden you'll when you release the airlock from the main frame of the ship all of a sudden air will start pissing out of the ship from somewhere and it will it basically it's like it's almost as though there's been a, a breach explosive decompression or something right and it's it pushes the ship like it noses it down and uh, it's kind of evil bit of an evil little glitch that but these things happen in it right let's get this off and really, this, this, I'm doing this for electrical items just to make sure. Because we want to get in here. Whee! Let that cool off a bit. I made sure my equipment was all up to full 100% before I came in here today as well. So that that wasn't going to cause us any grief. Not that it really does. You just occasionally, you know, you'll get the, the cutter all overheat or something. I don't know what they're going to do about that. Because at the moment, even once your cutter has reached zero grade, so that, like, it won't work. It, well, you know, it shouldn't work. So it's basically degraded down to zero percent. Uh, your cutter will still... Let me just make sure I've cut all those off. The cutter will still work, so... I don't know what they're planning to do about that. Whether they're planning to... Make it so that it will work, or... Or won't work, rather. Or if they're just gonna... Oop, leave it that way. Ah, uh, god damn thing. I hate these storage containers. I don't... They're just, like... They're my least favourite things on any of these ships. Whoop! There, <laughs> there we go. Ping! The cockpit's just decided to sproing off into the distance there. That. Pull it out of the way. Right, so let's pull these off for the electrical items. This can make this cockpit panel piece. I like what they've done this, they've separated that from the rest of it. So it now comes away from the main cockpit panel. I like that. So I'm just pulling that off to get it out of the way, really. But this, 
these bits can cause this thing to go a bit crazy. There you go. Go a bit crazy sometimes. Uh, I don't think that'll go through there, but what the hell? Uh, let's go get some more O2. There's probably some on the ship somewhere, but I haven't got time to go looking for it, so. Whee! Some fuel. Some fuel while we're there. Could have done with some more tethers, but. Not to worry. Everything will be alright. Alright, Cutter, you got five minutes left of this ship. I know that, Weaver. Thank you, buddy. He's a sweetheart, isn't he, Weaver? He's just looking after you, that's all. Alright, okay. Go along the top. Cut these free. Panel pinging off into the distance there. Let's release these cargo hatches. I don't technically need to do this because they're going into the processor anyway. But... I find it's easier to make the whole thing pull away. You'll see what I mean in a minute. With these big cargo ships now, what I uh, tend to do is to try to pull the whole thing away in one go. Right? You'll, you'll see. You'll all see! Oh, let me pull that off, though. Keep forgetting this. Oops. That failed. We want the rail guys, but we don't need the... Uh, we don't need the uh, the hoist, so... There we go. Pull that hoist away. Pull that hoist away. Trying to be a little bit careful doing this. So we don't have any nasty accidents. Okay. That's why you'll see I'm using this stinger a lot more. Um, oh crap, right, sorry, I just remembered some I just remembered something I do need to do because otherwise, because I saw the way that that panel sort of pinged away. So I need something I need to go fix before it's too late. Oh crap. Should have done with refilling those tethers, really. You really gotta be careful here. Too many times I've cut through the coolant line getting carried away there. There it is, look. Little bastard. Okay, I think that's fine. Whoops. Right, I'm getting this sensor tower because otherwise I'm going to forget all about that and that's going to get sucked in there. Let's take the hoist off this side. So, so far we haven't retrieved a lot because it's usually the second shift when I start tugging everything into the... There's one more thing I'm going to do after this sensor tower if I've got the time. So, yeah, before this thing disappears entirely, let's... There we go. Sensor tower's away. Right, there we go. I'm gonna get the sensor tower now. Crap. Yeah, that panel's coming. That's, see, that's not good. That's gonna get pulled into the furnace if I'm not careful. But it's loose, so what I should be able to do is this. He says, and then fails. Sometimes you have to go over this a couple of times to make sure this is attached. There we go. Now that should pull that in there. Right. A minute, yes, I know. Thanks, Weaver. Oh, that was a waste. I don't know what I did that for. Right, now this thing... 
I should separate these, but I kind of want to see. I don't know if I've got enough tethers. I think I have six. I know that. Uh, oh, okay. They're all separate anyway, so it'll work. Sometimes I'd like to try to pull the tail fin. I separated it at the top when I did the fuel tanks. I just remembered. Which is why they're all separate. But I do sometimes like to pull this entire tailpiece off in one go because... I did use my last tether. But it's fine because you know what, Weaver? There we go. See? Time she's up. So, we didn't complete any work orders. Though. Did I do complete one? Yeah, one. Just the sensor array. So that's the only one of those we got. So we've still got, what, nine? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, so we've still got nine of those. It should be if you only got one. Because on a hard, you only get ten work orders, generally. Objectives, rather. <laughs> right, so let's just check our equipment, then we'll swing right back out again and start raking in the work order money, the links tokens. Right, so there we go. So we've got a few credits. So there we go, our equipment. Just fix the laser cutter. Right, let's go. Continue salvage, yep. Valuable object processed. We're processed. back out. Oops. I didn't actually mean to do that. Obviously, I didn't mean to do that. I mean, you don't want to do that, do you? That's not what you want to do at all. Um, right. Let's tug that thing in. If we can. Hope it's not caught fast on anything. Okay. Like keel off. Uh, coolant was one of them, wasn't it? Was it coolant? We don't actually even need the reactor to get this, you know, which is nice. I mean, I'll get it if I can, because it's worth three million credits. So I'd be pretty stupid to just leave it there. But it depends on the time. Oh crap, that's the big side of the damn thing. What am I playing at? Right, okay. I'll be a lot more careful with that. And one to pull it in. Oh god. I'll have to do. Let's hope that works. That might break the tethers when it goes in. I'm going to have to check that in a minute to make sure it doesn't get pulled into the furnace. I hate shipping containers. I just hate them. Um, okay. What have we got? Electrical thrusters. Fuses. Uh... Okay, we probably could remove the fuses now. Valuable object process. Credits awarded. Oh dear, no, that's probably not wise. That was pretty stupid, actually. <laughs> oh, I was doing there. I thought I was thinking. Right, let's do these fuses. Because otherwise, I'll do something wrong. I'll forget. Two... Three, Oop. one. I think it's got three fuses, but we only need two. Two, three. Oop. That's two. So the other one probably going to be on the side somewhere. So we got that's another objective there. Um, it's going down the barge. I would need it, but it's in the way and it's quite heavy, so. <coughs> we don't want it to actually accidentally clatter something. Right, let's remove the fuse. There we go. All the fuses are out. Yep, that thing worked. 
It's cool. Everything is awesome. I mean, I'm getting a bit ahead of myself there, but everything is adequate. doesn't really have the same ring to it, does it? Right, wait, let's get rid of that keel. This is the... This should actually... The metal will help. There we go. Yep. Haha! <laughs> I knew it. Well, that thing... Uh, okay. Caution. Tether supplies running low. Yeah, I know. I'll go get some more in a second. Don't worry, you little head, about it. There we go. On that side. Pull that out there. Oops. Oh, no, yep. I thought I'd actually attach that to the thing there. Credits deposited. Credits deposited. Um. Okay. Cut it. You're out of tethers. Oh, so I am. Yep, sure thing, Weaver. Okay, let's cut that one. Right. Oops. Oh, that was close. There you go. That was nearly my mistake of the day. There. I nearly made a grievous error. It's dark over here. Is the Polaris? Yep, there it <laughs> There you go. I hadn't heard it. I hadn't heard it because it hasn't fired the brakes on yet. Oh, there we go. Now it is doing. <laughs> brakes. I love the sound of that thing. Yeah, I hadn't heard it sneak up on us there. So I thought it's dark over by the mass of Jack. What the hell's going on? Let's pull that off. Just because it's worth quite a bit. Right. Now... Uh, oh, oh, right. Wait. Let's sort the electrical items and the thrusters. Uh, oh, and the fuel. Well, that's handy because we need that out of the way anyway so we don't have a, a big old accident. Now, I've stopped pulling things down to the barge with tethers that don't have to be now because I've noticed... Especially the shipping containers. If you pull shipping containers down to the barge with tethers... Quite often, they just don't register. And the thing is, if you release the tethers, a lot of the time it's hard to get them to register, even once you've released the te tethers then. Secured. I don't know what that's about. I've also... Uh-oh. That might be an explosion. Oh, no. I've also had a bit of an incident or two with... Um, oh, we got the work order objective for that. Okay. We're done. We're done. A bit of an incident, a couple of incidents firing stuff down to that end of the barge. Quite often it's just not registering, and I don't know why that is. Maybe it's just coincidence that all the stuff that I've noticed that hasn't registered has been at that end of the barge, but whatever the reason, I'm not happy about it. I'm sitting there. Sorry, I was waiting to see where that would land. I don't want to take any risks of destroying any of this stuff. There we go. This is, uh, and then we need two heat sinks. There's one. Uh, Thank you. There you go. Now we, that's it. We don't need the other work order objectives technically to finish this off. We don't actually need the other work order objectives because we've done it. Um, but you know, but why would we not? Right, electrical item. Uh, let's release. These airlocks are making me nervous now, you know, because of the bug I was talking about earlier. I've had a couple of issues with these airlocks. The first one was when I was trying to do the video for going up to level 9, to rank 9, right? Certification level. Because what happened is I was working on a ship just like this one, but I was still inside it when I released it, 
And when I cut this away, it trapped me. Even though the airlocks were empty, even though there was no air. I got trapped. Oh, God's sake. Stupid boy. I always forget about these. These sneaky little hidey inside things. Right, and then that one. And I think what we might do then is try to release... We'll try. We've got six minutes, so once we've got the electrical items, let's try to... Uh, I mean, this mechanical item there, but well, that's not what we're worried about today. Let's kind of pull that over. Right, there we go. Well, in there. Let's clear as many of these plates as we can from away from the bottom of the uh, the reactor, and then we'll try and get the reactor as well. You know, just because it's worth so much damn money, I'm I'm damned if I'm leaving it there, even if it takes me over a little on the video. If it was a class one reactor, I'd go, well, yeah, it's a million, but that's not what I'm here for. Right, so here's an electrical item. Atmospheric regulator. That should... Oh, oh. God damn it, I knew it. Son of a bitch. There we go. I knew that was going to happen. You got five minutes left in this shift. Knock out that work order before they turn the lights Don't on worry about it, Weaver. I am on top of it. There we go. Deposit accepted. There we go. So we've done that one. Uh, and all we need actually for all the work order objectives is the other heat sink. Whoops. Out of the way there. I don't even know where the other one is. But we'll find it. Then we're going to pop out this react. Ah, it's there because it's stopping this thing from moving. <laughs> That's a telltale sign. You know, if you pull a panel, it doesn't move. It's usually because there's a heat sink there. I've had it a couple of times over here. Not much Valuable weight. Crap. That was a stupid thing to do. That's made that all on a weird sort of off kilter now. So now it's going to be a bit strange to get this thing out. Salvage right. Work order right. Complete. Get rid of that. Go, go, go. Right. Keel is gone. Let's torch this thing. Ugh. I do like to get this clear of the of the bottom of this thing. Yeah. Shit! No, I blew it. God damn it. Now the reactor's gone into meltdown because I hit the coolant line. There we go. Out you come. God damn it. There we go. We got the reactor anyway. Coolant line still breached. Now we've got to go and deal with the ECU so that that stops for flash freezing everything. Now with the ECU, everybody, well, you should know by now that what you got to do to empty the coolant lines is to grab all these tanks, but you can collect them look, without using the grapple. I recently learned that if you just grab them without using the grapple, it doesn't empty the coolant from the lines. See the fog that's in here? You need that to be of gone, otherwise the coolant lines will still be full. There you go. And if you use if you grab them all with the grapple, it can prevent that from happening. So um yeah, if you or if you just grab them with your hands, it prevents the coolant lines from emptying.
It's a weird bit of music I've never heard before. Come on, baby. Flash. There we go. Salvage destroyed. Please avoid damaging valuables. <sighs> okay, whatever. Uh, right, so that's the only thing I'm going to get left now. It's just the ECU. There we go. Pipe. Okay. Let's pull this thing out. Oxygen reserves are low. Don't worry, I'm going in in a second. One minute left, Cutter. Time to start wrapping things up. We wrap. All right, there we go. Let's pull the ECU down to the barge. And we are done. And we're going to go in. Because we've made it then, I think. Well, I can't see any reason why not. Yeah, so these things are a massive pain. Sometimes they don't register. So what I tend to do now is blast them down to the barge, because otherwise... Otherwise, quite often, they just don't register. Oxygen reserves are critical. Please contact your plan administrator to add asphyxiation coverage. Well, there's the other hoist. Account credit applied. There we go. Right, folks, let's go inside. Uh, done and done there you go your hard work has not gone unnoticed you've achieved the prestigious rank of red seal rank number 10 done see we made it for which we get the modular laser cutter upgrade that's the one you don't want uh, we get two handheld utility grapple upgrades thruster upgrade a helmet upgrade and a four work suit upgrades which are the last four i mean i barely used i barely purchased any of those there you go nine million in that shift not a bad shift was it i mean the first one was quite poor so that's what explains that but there you go we have maxed out well you know maxed out the rank and we got another sticker which will be the this so this sticker employee advancement is this one and this is the one that was designed by a member of the community so this guy won they had a decal design competition so he won a bunch of goodies and of course he gets his decal in the game so there you go that was designed by a player and now we get to place it on thing now i'm going to put it on the grapple i know you can put it on both every sticker you get you can place it twice you can place one on the grapple and one on the cutter but I think the ones that are placed on the cutter in the game look terrible. I mean, the ones on the grapple don't look much better, but they do a bit. So we're going to place it right there. Here we go. We've put our sticker on. Uh, and like I said, we're not maxed out technically because, you know, we've, there's still a bunch of stuff. So now we've unlocked this, which we don't want. We don't want that because that cuts through nanocarbon like butter and once you start doing that it creates just all kinds of problems it just basically turns your workspace into confetti and makes it really hard to salvage stuff uh, and also you know what once it's done the more bits you have around floating about if you go blasting fuel tanks down to the barge and stuff like that and they hit like even a nut or a bolt it's that's that's it that fuel tank goes boom fortunately they've toned they've like nerfed the explosions this we want so we want to purchase the cutter because the cutter is the most expensive item that you rent so of all the stuff that you rent from them like all the money that gets taken off you at the end of each shift the cutter is their most expensive thing it's worth you pay 120,000 credits per shift to rent that so once you've bought it that's 120,000 credits i think once you've purchased everything I think the amount that you're paying per shift for hab rental and utilities and stuff like that is about 150 grand. So anything that you make over 150 grand on each shift then is is that's just gravy. Um, so you want to buy that, but of course, because it's the most expensive thing, it costs the most in Lynx tokens. So that's 19,000 Lynx tokens. So we need just just over 9,000 more of those. So, you know, so we'll sort it. We'll sort it. We'll get there more grapple upgrades grapple strength which is very very helpful 
tether amounts so I can increase the amount of tethers. I think it's 50. Yeah, there you go. Max tethers 50, which is tremendously handy for stripping down ships. Um, particularly once you um, combine it with the upgrade to your O2 capacity, which is here. Uh, because that means you've got to run back to the Master Jack way less often than you had before. Worksuit upgrades are just these standard ones here. Uh, I have unlocked all of these, of course. The only reason they're not there is because I haven't got the money to be able to afford them. Or, well, at least they don't unlock until you've got the first row, obviously. Uh, the scanner we've got everything for. The thrusters, we've got a new top speed on the thrusters, which is handy. All these things you've got to buy... Um, yeah, so you know, all good stuff. Tether amount, that's like tremendously handy. I think we're going to upgrade that one. Yeah, let's buy that. I really want to purchase the, the the cutter. I Like, I really, really want to purchase the cutter, but I don't know. We'll get the tether strength, the grapple strength as well while we're at it. So I don't think there's anything else we actually can buy now, because it's all... Oh, there is. There's a suit thing we can get. We get one for electrical resistance, which actually, funnily enough, that's about the thing that happens to me most often, is I get electrocuted. <laughs> but yeah, so you want all the others, but you do not want that. Not at least until they've come up with a way that you can dial it back, so you can switch it off. But at the moment, you can't. There's no Once you've purchased that upgrade, there's no way to undo it, so you can't... When you're cutting ties in the middle of the ship, it makes it just really messy and awkward, so you don't want that. But anyway, we have reached level 10 now so there'll be you know there'll be more videos in the future obviously i'll keep doing videos when they do an update that adds something to the game um or that fixes a bunch of stuff or something like that. i'll do an update i'll do i'll probably do the occasional update i might leave it now until we pass like half a billion so when we get past the the half a billion remaining one rather than doing it every hundred thousand every hundred million rather um, so then, yeah, so then I'll do one whenever they do an upgrade. I'll probably do one uh, when I've maxed everything out and got, like, you know, stick. I've got a couple of other ideas for them, but, you know, what's coming in the next couple of weeks regarding videos, I honestly don't know at this point because it's complicated and I'm not going to go into it here, but I don't know what's coming. Uh, but anyway, that's it for this. You know, you can follow me in the usual places, Facebook, Twitter, uh, all the links for those are in the video description as well as on the Knights Arcade channel header uh, along with links to my Discord server. It'd be nice to see more of you chatting in there. Um, the Patreon account. Uh, so yeah, you can support the channel on Patreon if you wish. I will be uh, adding more levels very soon. Um, and you can follow me, you know, in all of those places. Also... You probably, I don't know whether you've noticed or not, but there is actually Knights Arcade merchandise now. So if you look below the video, there's actually Knights Arcade merch. At the moment, it's only got the Knights Arcade logo on. And there are a couple of things that people have asked for that I can't get until I've made sales and unlocked them. So hopefully they'll be coming later. But anyway, that's all the stuff. If, you don't, if you're not interested in any of that at all, but you like this video, leave a like. Subscribe if you want to see more from me in the future. And ring the bell to be notified every time I post new content. But... Until next time, from Night's Arcade, this is Sleepless Night, saying nighty-night. <laughs>